my life is different now. What we've been through. So how do you not know that you did? The first day I sold 76 plates. <laughs> AKA John Gotti. Hey, where is this feeling coming from? I love talking to people that I can just see, like, I, I really admire. If I watch the car, I'm looking for what I'm looking for, the transaction. Some gold chicken. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not finna tell you what I yeah. did so you can go tell them. Yeah, I could never lose you. Mm. And if I had to do this all over again, I would always choose you. Oh. Hey, welcome back to the High Heels and Tea Podcast. I'm Crystal Lee. This is Rianda. And yeah, today we are joined by the beautiful Chris Cole. Hi. We're super excited to have you here. She's super excited to be here. Yeah. Real quick, can you share with our following who you are, what you do? Mm -hmm. Well, my name is Chris Cole. I am a local St. Louis fashion designer. I specialize in weddings, prom gowns, birthdays, just mm -hmm. any special occasions for women's wear. And I have a store downtown St. Louis on Washington Avenue. That is gorgeous too, by the way. Gorgeous as sick. How many years you been there? Uh, I'm going up on my three year anniversary in June. It's our anniversary. Yeah. <laughs> I remember when you opened it. Yeah, it flew by. Mm -hmm. Oh, so why you, you ain't just St. Louis. I know you get orders everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So we ain't going to say we just St. Louis based. Okay. She is <laughs> she the a fashion designer. All right. Mm -hmm. Period. Yeah. All right. I know you self talk, right? What inspired you to get started? Uh, I always just say it's like a God-given talent. Mm. I didn't, you know, like the cookie um, jar, like, you know, those, the things that like the cookies and the popcorns used to be in. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. I understand what you're saying. So I was in that one day thinking it was cookies inside, but it was sewing supplies. Okay. So mm -hmm. I started like messing with them in like second and third grade. And just from yes. there, I was just able to like look at stuff and start yes. sewing it. And I used to cut up my mom's shower curtains. Oh and my God. Covers, and I just used to hand sew and make outfits. Uh, yes. That's and awesome. then she bought me like a machine in the sixth grade. <laughs> And it was just a wrap. I was oh. just making clothes and you used to do the cut, the rip up jeans yes, and like stuff too. Was, yes, literally making everything out of anything, but it was all visual. Like I could just mm -hmm. look at something mm -hmm. and just know the details and know the size. It's just it's just Put in it my together. head. God yes. gave just it. Just so we was real poor. I didn't mm -hmm. I did try to sew when I was young, mm -hmm. but I used to take like fingernail polish and get my mama um nursing shoes which are all white and I used to draw like Nike signs yeah. on it. <laughs> I wanted my mama to have a pair of Nike so bad. I used to be like, Wow uh, why Nike? You got them nurse clothes. Yeah. Yeah. Where you get them Nike clothes. I on. used to draw in red fingernail polish would be like fila, all her <laughs> shoes, everything. So yeah, I ain't gonna worry with that. I was it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't a talent for me. It was your own like tie-dye yeah. shirt. Mm -hmm. I bleach. I accidentally mm -hmm. put bleach in the colors. Now I got a tie-dye shirt. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. So <laughs> yes. He's a fashion designer on accident. That's what happened to me. So I know. Um, originally we reached out to you about the prom. How exciting is it to do prom? How was your prom too? Oh, by the way. Yeah. How um, exciting or how stressful <laughs> is it? <laughs> because the way she said. <laughs> She said, who's exciting? <laughs> it's exciting. It's a lot. It, yes. it's, a, it's all of the above. But um, I think, I mean, honestly, after mm -hmm. this year, my bookings won't even be the same for the upcoming. I really mm -hmm. feel like this year is mm -hmm. it's more challenging. But um, what makes it challenging? Well, each year, the girls, they kind of want more. Mm -hmm. So as a trend dies, the next yes. one comes up. So right yeah. now, it's like the corseted Nigerian wedding dresses they want. So I got a lot of dresses that kind of are... Mm -hmm. geared towards that style so mm -hmm. it is going to be like a different release for me this year but mm -hmm. it is very exciting mm -hmm. um and, and stressful but mm -hmm. i love my clients this year and i really I, i'm looking forward to the reactions yeah that's what it is it's like it's, it's a reveal it's a yeah yes. like it's everything in one it's exciting it's a lot of work all mm -hmm. day but it keeps me going because I know like the reactions, the excitement. Once I get, get this girls, dress on, yes. I get girls who cry. I get the moms who cry. I get yes. students who moms passed away and yes. they can't see it. Yes. I get a mixture of everything. Yes. So it's really like exciting to be a part of that moment. And I have like, I have great clients this year. What about you with prom? Did you design your own prom dress? <sighs> tried to, right? Okay. I tried to make my prom dress. <laughs> yes. It was totally ruined. 
And I ended up just going to the mall and buying one. But I tried. Yes. I tried mm -hmm. to make it. I stole my bra. You stole your bra. I did. You spill your bra. So, real quick, because it's pride <laughs> season. So, back when my young in days, I ain't, this ain't <laughs> me no more. I changed my life. All right. <laughs> But I could not afford, I'm telling people, like people look at me now, you don't know why I work so hard. I could not afford oh, anything. Dang. So um, my best friend at the time was going to prom mm -hmm. and I had the car. So I took her to the Galleria to get her stuff. I, I didn't have a prom ticket and I wasn't going. Mm -hmm. And um, she was trying on dresses. And then she was like, girl, just try this on. This is look cute. Like, and I tried it on. And I was like, oh, this is I took it off me. Oh. <laughs> Look, me in the car. I'm in the car like this. Please hurry up. 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 I mean, we were up on 170 heading, going what, back to the let city. Let me ask the question. Yes. What mall did you go to? The Galleria. The Galleria. Okay. Yes. No, and then when I told her. was popping. Mm-mm. When I told her, I got, I was like, I got I'm like, the dress in my pants. You heard me? She don't know. That's how I'm telling my age. You know, the the I know it's downtown, but yeah. I don't think I You wasn't there when it was popping, popping? Nah. Oh, oh, girl. Yeah. What a time to be alive. Yeah. <laughs> yes. They had their JC Pennies in the basement. Nah, you couldn't steal out the center, though, for real. You crazy? Yeah, they had their JC Pennies in the basement. My cousin tried. Where they had all those swimsuits. Oh. You would go put on like five swimsuits, put your clothes back on, and just walk out yeah. the door. That's a good <laughs> <laughs> back, in, back then we had to get it how we live hey, so it is that's it how is. i end up going to prom i, I took the dress yeah. and you was um, prepared already. yeah yeah <laughs> I wasn't prepared. I was just yeah. You was prepared after you stole that dress. <laughs> I was yeah. I had, that was so actually too speaking. So I asked you was how how exciting is it because all I could think about like at that particular time it was my first time wearing eyelashes. Prom was the first time I ever put on a pair of heels and I never t I, that's what started me wearing heels. I wasn't even a high heel girl. I wore nothing but tennis shoes. So for me, I'm just thinking about all these different things mm -hmm. and I saw myself and I was like, damn. I'm first time getting my eyebrows or first time getting nails done first time yes, doing all these things yeah. and it was super like exciting so i know you exp you experienced that with all these babies that's out here going to prom too yeah, it's mm -hmm. exciting. yeah overall you like yeah. at the end girl, get your dress and get the hell out of my face <laughs> <laughs> look her it's actually like <laughs> quick get your dress and get the hell out of my face did you pay your, your min last deposit no, she don't play she let you know i don't play that you ain't no mm. deposit ain't no business yeah, at all <laughs> so wedding dresses what got you into that like did you start um um decorating prom dresses and then you pipeline to wedding dresses or pretty much you was just on one product line i got this i got that. yeah it was pretty much like a transition because mm. right? it went from birthdays to prom to weddings. yes so now i'm getting more into weddings um yes like this year is my busiest year i have for weddings okay weddings is like it, it's my previous year i feel mm -hmm. like weddings was a hit or miss because they saw so much prom work yep mm -hmm. but i get a lot of orders i'm one mm -hmm. person i do over 100 gallons for prom season mm -hmm. so it's like you're gonna see a lot of prom mm -hmm. yeah. but um like this year, I got a, I got a lot. Like I got weddings out of town and mm -hmm. shit. So, awesome. so we're, not, we're gonna take St. Louis out, exactly. as I said. Yeah, like it's yeah, my girl popping everywhere yeah. I know you are. Yeah, like uh -huh. yeah. So, um, but I am trying to get. Oh, you good? I am trying so to tap drink more it. into um, <laughs> weddings for sure. I'm trying yes. to tap more into it. What is your favorite type of wedding gown to do? Mm -hmm. Um, dramatic, dramatic. I like the fitted, like mermaid look. Or said it fitted. Mm -hmm. Mermaid could be like, um, I like mermaid more. So I mm -hmm. like the hourglass shape. Yes. Ooh. I like the waist snatch, tight fitted with however the bottom. I like to Ooh. just the curve. The yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I love to insinuate the curves. I like that's my favorite wedding gown shape. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. I remember when I got married. I originally was going for mermaid, right? Mm -hmm. I was working out. I was like, oh, booty gonna be like, boom, let's go, like, bang. <laughs> And then I put on the dramatic dress mm -hmm. and no, my gown was like back there. And it, it made sense because it's like, if you know me, I'm dramatic as hell. Mermaid, cute and sexy mm -hmm. and all, but no, my gown needs to be like 20 feet behind me. Man. I mean, my train. I mean, and yes. Is, her, is it ever going to stop? Is she, is she done walking? <laughs> no, we're still, keep the music going. Is it midges so. under her dress? Right? Yes, <laughs> midges under there holding it up. <laughs> Yes, yes. So you said, you said, that's a dope idea. That's, that's a really dope idea. They just crawl. Then all the just crawl out at the end. Yes, go sit down. 
<laughs> That's a dope idea. <laughs> Dang it. I got to get a loop do that somewhere. Um, you said next year is different. What makes next year different from this year? I just picture it. Um, this the I I close my book as quicker than I've ever closed them this year. Like I've got filled up faster. That's awesome. That's awesome. That's a blessing. Can you money? That's what you let work me, for. Let me, let me hold $20. Yeah. Let me hold $20. Right. So, and it's like every day I still got people like, I'll pay whatever. Can I get a squeeze in? Mm -hmm. I'll pay whatever. I'll do whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, and it's like, uh, I can't. But if something quality, about it, you it's know. about the quality. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, not over the quantity. Exciting. It's the quality yes. you have to put out there. Mm -hmm. It's both. It's both. Because mm -hmm. when you, you need to meet the numbers, quality, you can do the quantity. It's, mm -hmm. it's both. It's both. So but if you both. do too much of quantity, then you overstretch yourself. Mm -hmm. You can, but you don't see. I never got my dress made. I, I never got my dress from mm -hmm. Chris Cole. You're not going to ever see that. Mm -hmm. You're not going to see is they a palm. I ain't get my dress. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, my work. God, that happens every year. Why don't see that? You're not do that. that. People yeah, go to the same people, people every year, and you saw what happened last year. Oh, you yeah. saw what happened the year before. Do that all the time. And yeah. now they're the same people are trending because they didn't give somebody their dress yeah. or they messed up. They, like it'd be the same people all the time. Yeah, yeah, every year. I feel like you gotta do your research, but it's like what you just said too. Mm -hmm. You do have to be mindful of what you take on. Mm -hmm. Now things do happen during okay. prom season. Guess what? You probably just made a dress in full, mm -hmm. and you looking like wow. Let me do that part over. Mm -hmm. Now you got to do something over. Or you may have a client to change their idea. Mm -hmm. Although it's no changes, but maybe it's in your heart to say, hey, I know this is your big day. Let mm -hmm. me do the change for you. Let me make sure. So, you you know, add in unexpected times mm -hmm. that will change some stuff because things do happen. That's a flow time you in there. You got to. Mm -hmm. But again, with me, if I take it on, we put it in a contract, mm -hmm. it's my obligation to do it. Yes. yes. And it's also it's your the, work. It's exactly it's my, what you said. It's your it's brand. Like, yes, so you is. want their representation my, of your brand as well. Yeah. yeah. I take accountability for every order that I take. Mm -hmm. It got to get done. What's the longest it's ever taken you to do a dress? Um, I mean, it depends on the style. Okay. Well, what <laughs> style could, takes the longest? How about um, that? What type I of... try to avoid these questions because guess what? It come mm -hmm. around. It be like, oh, we only what you say? Long. Well, you yeah. said on the podcast it takes you three weeks. It's going to be like, well, you said it. I, well, tell us what, what I, I, 12 I, to 24 I, months. I, I, <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's like two years. Book, exactly. book me now for prime yes. in 2026. It takes exactly. take 12 to 24 exactly. months to do it, but I'll do it in exactly. three weeks. Yeah. I'm taking, I'm taking I get it to you in three weeks. Yeah. I'm currently yeah. taking deposits for the next yeah. year. Yeah. 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 That's how we going to do it. 12 to 24 months for a mermaid look. Easily. Yeah. But she might. You might. No guarantee. Might. Depending. Might. <laughs> All right, so that's what we're gonna put a disclaimer there. I might, but typically it's on small, average. That small fine print, you be like, get your glasses out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. might. I might. might. Like, girl, you ain't read that. That shit said might. <laughs> 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 you gotta underline it, make it in bold. Cause I got a contract. I got you I, better. I have a written one, and then after the written one, I email you another one to sign. Oh, a great. digital one, you so better. After, yes. So, so you, so mm -hmm. after the digital, it ain't even no need to contact me. Cause yes. Are you thinking about expense since you have like, uh, okay, you have the demand there. It's a high demand. Do you ever think about like um, doing mentorship, adding someone on yeah. um, to assist like an you? Yeah, mm -hmm. or doing mentorship where you can teach other inspiring designers, fashion designers, you know, bring mm -hmm. them on so that way you don't have to turn no money down. Yeah. Um, right now I got, I got my little sister under my wing. Okay. That's awesome. Um, and yeah, I got my little sister mm -hmm. under my wing. So she helps me anytime I need help. Okay. Um, but as far as that, um, what little sister know how to do? She know how to sew some stuff. She okay. Stuff, but, and then she just over like my money. Okay. Stuff like that. So she helped me whenever I need that extra help. But as far as teaching, so that was a lot of things. People hit me up always to teach classes. Mm -hmm. And I just feel like it's levels to certain things. Meaning like when I get... You know, at that point where I feel like I'm ready to teach, mm -hmm. then it's time for me to trickle down. Like right now, it's not my it's not time it. to trickle down mm -hmm. yet. I'm still building. Mm -hmm. I'm still learning. I'm still expanding mm -hmm. myself. When I'm at that point to teach, mm -hmm. that's when I, I'm 29. Mm -hmm. You know, I still got some time. I still got some mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. When I get to that point where I'm like, okay, it's time to, you know, pass it down. Mm -hmm. I'll do that. But for right now, I'm still. You're still passionate I'm still where passionate. you're at right now. Yeah. That makes sense. And I'm comfortable. Mm -hmm. I know my workload and I have help whenever I need people to come in mm -hmm. and do it for me. That makes sense. So, um, you said you're not doing teaching right now. Dang, I just had another freaking And you know, another question. if I don't do teaching? Yeah. Not right now. Mm -hmm. And if I, I'm self-taught. Yeah. It's in my head. That's why my question was, do you ever like go to, um, 
invest in a way in yourself in your talent in your skills by going to other people that's doing what you're doing mm -hmm. that's been doing it for forever mm -hmm. like, like you have the elder. fashion shows etc mm -hmm. yeah do you go to them and say okay i just want to see what more can i learn or you just Maybe like, like a different technique yeah or something um, like yeah that. i wouldn't really say i've been to someone mm -hmm. um but I do self invest as far as videos and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But it's mm -hmm. not nobody that I that you can go sit in front yeah. of. Yeah, and it's like I just haven't crossed paths with them yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But um, pretty much all the designer buddies that I have, we're all pretty much kind of in the same self taught, like close niche. Elite. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. So it's like, and you guys kind of share your knowledge. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. if it's something that hey, I can't girl, do, I how you how you double stitching or this or uh, you know yeah. how, does, how you over back. When I was pregnant, I had, uh, like I had, when I was pregnant last week. Hey, by the way, you done had twins. Oh, God, yes. They literally look just <laughs> that. I was like, what? <laughs> and then I had to go to you and like, well, hold on. <laughs> well, they got a little, yeah. wait, a minute, how do you have twins? They're like, what, 11 years, 10 years yeah. apart? Mm -hmm. And they look just alike. Like my son has little curved pinky. Yeah. The baby came out with that same curved pinky. That's crazy. It's like, he had an egg that was still there for all these years. Yeah. And it <laughs> just, it's like, it's now I'm ready. Uh -huh. Like, like one smile, the other one smile. I'm like, they are identical. Her <laughs> kids are identical. Her sons are <laughs> identical. Yes. Yeah. So and congratulations. Handsome. Thank you. Yeah. Thank so you. handsome. Thank you. But yeah, I have, it's all the great design. They help me. Okay. Anytime I, hey, I can't do this. Can mm -hmm. you? Mm -hmm. Great. That's, That's good. good. That's yeah. a good community to have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. The fashion. No industry. designer slander in my store. You can't walk in and be like, girl. Dead. I'm the game. <laughs> nope. You know, so and so. I don't even care if the if the designer was wrong, right? It's not wrong. Uh, yeah. 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 Yes. Exactly. That, that has nothing to do with me. me. Mm -mm. Yes. My name was Sonia Nemi. So what you? <laughs> <laughs> don't even come in with high expectations. Yeah. Trying to be like, oh, well, I just don't want it to. Don't put that on me because I didn't do it. Yes. That's clean slate. Do you have to do that sometimes? Do you have to clean up another designer's work in so many words? Why would you do that? Because no. I know. Okay. Oh. <laughs> no. But you know, some people you don't book work. Book me in the first place. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, book Come me in. <laughs> so then you think you're going to come here <laughs> thinking I'm going to fix your dream. Oh be like, you was my first choice, boy. <laughs> but you was already booked. Bobby was in the beach. You were being cheap. Oh, well. I mean, yes, like you say you pay for what you want. Oh, my God. Yeah. But I'm then not... at, the, at the end of the day, you still mm. basically you're going to have to pay anyway because if you go somewhere and you don't like it, then you come to me and say, hey, can you fix this? Oh, no. no. So you have to get a whole new dress if, if I have time. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. If I can work you in. If, yeah. If I can. Not working because she, she 12, 24 months. 12, 24 months. Mike. Ah! She might. might. She might have went to six to nine. <laughs> might. You know what I'm saying? It depends on the level. Might can get you in there like <laughs> swimwear. Fabulous. Do you do a whole collection of designs? Like, for instance, the bridal dress as well as the maid of honors, um, oh, yeah. bridesmaids as well? I never did a full, like, um, that would be dope. Are you asking like, if I ever did a party? A whole yeah. Party? I, yeah, I have one. Uh, my first party is actually in April. Ooh. Her colors are ivory, mm. white. Hunter Green and Copper. So that's mm. like 10 bridesmaids. Mm -hmm. Ooh. She got two wedding looks. Mm -hmm. It's big. She really went all out. Oh, yeah. I do, that's I like do a me. Cool party. I want a, I want a regular wedding dress mm -hmm. that's versus how they switch into the. Um, the, what's the at the party look? Yeah, the, yeah. The, 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 the reception. The reception. reception. Look at us like reception. Everybody in the been married, got married, can't remember. Like, what, the, what the first place we went to after the wedding? <laughs> it's a party call. Is what the place we went like, to? Is it the repass? I had on the white dress. Oh, okay. The repass, re right? I had the white dress on. Remember, we did the dance. <laughs> We forgot the wedding reception. Yeah. Oh wedding. my gosh. It was so that long part. ago. Where the food at? Yeah, the food. They give you the food. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so with the part they give you the food, what you say you want to wear? I want. <laughs> <laughs> want to pop in, have a little change, yes. a little fit. I think you would need a, like a floaty dress, something mm -hmm. short. She's like fun. She's, she's fun. fun. She's going to get up and dance. She's fun. Yeah, she's yes. fun. Yes. Yeah. She wants to get up. She wants to dance yeah. and all of that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So that's have what you yeah. I might come out make my own dance. It's like she yeah. gonna dance. She's gonna dance she the Korea. whole time. She Korean. <laughs> yes. Dance. Her, I can see her having a wedding reception and it's lit. Yeah, like, for real. Lit party. Yeah, we gonna have a good time. Mine is going to be more like Maybe. glam. Uh huh. <laughs> 
Please. Like, oh, if you ready to get your content, go to Crystal <laughs> Wedding Reception because Crystal go out his, uh, the ambiance, chandeliers. He's going to have about five videographers. Yes. One in each, each corner. Wait, did I see the wedding? Who, uh, mm -hmm. the, the invitations was like a video. Uh-huh. No. The, the billboard wedding. Oh, you talking about the yeah, that's on that billboard? billboard. Oh, my God. Uh, the invitations was like a, uh, they sent it like a, I don't see what she said. Like on the computer. Okay. Um, the invitations were super Like the Tyler dope. Perry invitations? To it's, like his, it's like a card. It was like oh, a card. Like they can open it up, but it's a video. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. But they had billboards, billboards. all around. So, the one couple with the black uh, one. Yeah, I'll be saying nice. I'm going over to the altar. They married now, ain't they? Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I was like, we didn't go take that billboard down. I, was, I thought that was an announcement. <laughs> look, look, I wanted to go to the wedding. Yeah. Everybody wanted to go to the wedding. When I went over, I was like, it's booked. But they, they said anybody could come. They did? I, yeah. I I went that's on. why they did it. It was an open invitation? It was an open invitation. I went on and I'm like, oh, it's booked already. Oh, damn. I thought I was going to be in there. Okay. <laughs> this is nice. To they look like it. they were gonna have golden chicken. Oh, <laughs> give me some golden chicken. Okay, Chris. So we talked about your business. We talked about your brand, the different services. Um, where can in like 2025, when your bookings open back up, Man. where can they book you at? Okay. Where? How do you go about your booking process and share with our following? Um, how can they find you? Just to keep up uh, with you. So my Facebook and my Instagram, everything is Chris Cole, mm -hmm. and then Chris with a K. Yep, Chris with Perry. a K. Mm -hmm. yep, yep. Chris Cole, and mm -hmm. then as of right now, I can be contacted via email, Chris Cole the brand at gmail dot com, or via text three one four three one two twelve seven four. Awesome. Any more fashion shows coming up? Uh, I don't really do shows anymore. Oh, okay. no fashion uh, shows. Cause your fashion show was dope. Number one, I still remember your song. It was um, what is it? I can feel it. I'll be in the car like I can feel it. I still listen to the song because of her fashion show. I really want to do The breakdown. She did something on the breakdown. It was like and it rushed through your body, and you just the fashion show was dope. I would never forget that. So thank you. I was at that fashion show. Huh? I was at that fashion show. You was there? It's the one on the south side, right? Uh, no, that's the first one. Oh, that's like, the first I'm one. like, I've been to a fashion yeah, show. Yeah, that was, was the dope. first one. This is a black swan. Yeah. I really want to do yeah, another I one. And I'm going to try to do it this mm -hmm. year. But it's just... When the time comes yeah, for you. When the like, time yeah. comes. Just know you got yeah, definitely support. Remember that you got a community. Both of us were bald-headed. Uh, that's how I remember that one. What happened? Both of us were bald. Oh, I was like, who bald-headed? Oh, that was when I cut all my hair off of my sister. And she was bald at that time, too. Okay. And I'm like, I remember going to a fashion show. Okay. That was my first. Mm -hmm. But that was dope. So whenever you put it back out there, you know you about to kill it again. Yeah. Okay. Because I remember that was a while ago. Mm -hmm. I, Philip, yeah. Con what is his name? Philip Collins. Yeah. I I literally got that on my playlist because of that. But I always fast forward to the drum point. The yeah. Because it was just like. Yeah. Look at the look at. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm you had to be there. You had to be there. You had to be there. Okay. Be there. okay. Thank you so much, girl, for yes. joining us Thank and you. talking to us. It's been a real good girl chat. And anytime you want to come back, come on back. Come hang out with us, okay? Um, and thank you guys for listening to the Hot Heels and Tea Podcast. You. Goodbye.